Hey guys, welcome back to Xfix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to customize the sign up and login pages on your website. But before I get started, I do want to mention that we are on the road to 5,000 subscribers. So if you are new around here or you've been around for a while, just haven't subscribed yet, I really want to challenge you guys to subscribe to the channel if you have not already. It really would help a lot. For this tutorial, I just created a blank website and added one of their pre-built about pages. And now I want to add a members area. If you aren't familiar with what a members area is, that basically gives your users the ability to create an account on your website. That way they can comment on your blogs, they can buy stuff from your store, they can book times with you, they can order stuff from your restaurant, everything like that. In order to add a members area to your website, you can come down to the add button, and come down to members, and then you can press add to site. If you want to add a blog to your site, you can press add to site and it'll give you an option to add the members area with it. And then if you add the store to your website, it will automatically add the members area so that they can place orders. But for today's video, I'm just gonna come down to members and press add to site. Now, if we come over to this pages dropdown and go back to the about page, you're gonna notice one thing. In the header, it added a login bar. It also added a my account page. Now, if you added the store or the blog or something, you're gonna see additional pages here as well. But since I just added the default members area, it's only gonna give us that one page. If I publish the site, come to the site, you're gonna see this login bar. You're also gonna see it's set to blue. And if I press login, it's gonna take us to this page right here. Here we can sign up, sign in, but you're gonna see like this default font text. You can see this default color. So there are two ways you can edit this. One, you can come over to the theme manager, come over to text and start editing this text to be, let's say we want to do, I'm gonna do a thin font. That way it's more like obvious that I'm changing it. So I'm gonna change all of these fonts to Roboto thin. And then I'm also gonna come over to the colors tab in the theme manager and edit this blue color right here. This color number two is typically what's shown as accent colors. So if we change this to an orange and just press add, it's gonna change that whole color too to a different color palette for us. And if we look up here at this login bar, that little drop down arrow that was blue before is now orange. And if I publish the site and visit it now, you're gonna see the login bar is now orange and it also has that thin font that we chose before. If we go ahead and press login, we're gonna notice that the font is now thin just like we chose and the color is now orange instead of blue however let's say we want to customize it a little bit more what we can do is come over to pages we can come over to sign up and login and if we click this unfortunately it's not going to bring us to the actual page to edit instead it's going to open up some settings for us up at the top we're going to see an option for default form or custom form if we select custom form and press add to site it's gonna create like this little light box thing for us. Now, as you can see, it's already chosen the thin font for us from our theme library, but we can also go ahead and edit this to be something like a little crazy. We can also select the form and even add different elements or add different fields if we wanted to. And then if we come over here to this dropdown, we're also gonna notice that we actually have a custom sign up page here now as well. And we can go ahead and do that for the members login as well. So if we come over to pages, come over to sign up and login and click on the members login form, we're gonna see it's set to the default form. If we want to customize this, we can press custom form and press add to site. Now it's gonna open up a kind of new page looking thing, which is mostly just a light box. And we can go ahead and make some changes. So we can change the fonts to something else. So I'm gonna choose the same one that we chose for the sign up page. And then down here at the social login bar, we can also press settings and we can change it to buttons. We can also disable Facebook login or Google login. However, I recommend just probably leaving both active. And if we click behind the form and click the light box, we can actually change the design. So we can add different colors, we can change the color, we can make it an image, we can make it a video anything that we want. We can also select layouts and we can actually change where this is displayed. But personally, I think the center looks the best. And if we publish the website and look at the live site and we press login, 
we're gonna see that it, we have our own custom page. Now keep in mind, we can also change how big this is. Now on my screen, this looks pretty small. So if we wanted to, we could come over to the editor, come over to custom sign up, and we can make this a lot wider. We can make all of these stretch out a lot more if we wanted to, to make it look a lot cleaner. And so once we make it wider, we can also view the website and it looks a lot nicer. But that basically wraps it up for the video today guys if you guys did enjoy please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel for more wix content coming out really soon thank you guys again and i'll see you all in the next one